I really want to find my aesthetic. So today I tried 10 different styles in order to see which one suits me the best. <laughs> The first look is the Korean influencer style that is elegant and minimalistic. Maybe I could be this is look number one. This is what I call the Korean Instagram aesthetic. I just see like these girls on Instagram with like super clean makeup and also just like beige. And for here, I noticed that the Korean aesthetic, they always either like use like a claw or they like make this little like low bun situation that goes really well with the blazer. All right, so this is it for this look. I find this outfit very comfortable and stylish, so I felt really confident in it. The Prepri aesthetic is an upper-class private school look. It is characterized by plaid button-downs, loafers, and headbangs. When creating this look, I had Blair from Gossip Girl in mind the whole time, and I made sure to have my rich girl attitude on. Basically, this look screams. My daddy is so rich and I go to a private school. This is my gossip girl look. For the preppy look, I think it's really stylish but not the most comfortable. So that's my rating. The leaves curl up and brown. The academia aesthetic is a fashion style that emphasizes education and has a little bit of a vintage vibe to it. A lot of knit sweaters, tailored pants, button down loafers, trench coat, and the overall aura is more autumn and cozy. Alright, so this is the academia look, and also I'm wearing like the sweater vest, very fitting, with a belt. And I try to find these gold um, glasses. I do look somewhat like a detective though. But originally I wanted to do like the dark academia look. But I don't own enough plaid for that. So we're just gonna go with this. Hi, I go to Oxford and I need to go to my lecture. See you later. So there we go. This is the autumn version of my academia look. And I hope you guys enjoy it. What is it gonna look like without a tie? Let's try taking the tie out. There we go. Now I look like a paper boy. Alright, so <laughs> that is it for this one. Let's get changed again. I think the academia look is very comfortable, but not the most stylish in my opinion. So I was a little mid about this one. The tomboy look is when a girl exhibits characteristics that are commonly seen on boys. Oversized top, baggy pants, and a messy bun. Tomboys are free-spirited, tough, sassy, and a little bit wild. So here's me trying to give off that vibe. So yeah, this is the tomboy aesthetic. I actually kind of dig it, I'm gonna lie, and I was gonna pretend to drink beer, but I don't have any beer, I just have like a white claw and I don't want to open the white claw because I don't want to get drunk. So, we're having some sparkling water because I'm sophisticated like that. I like this vibe, it feels really great. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know whether to name this like skater girl or like tomboy, but I think it's more like a tomboy ish look. Alright, water break is over. We're gonna continue the grind. I loved how comfortable this outfit was, and personally, I think this is a style that I really like as well. So, resultantly, I felt really confident in it.
The cottagecore ascetic manifests a dreamland living in a small, cute cottage, surrounded by a garden. The idea is initiated by people who romanticizes rural living. So the style features a lot of floral, flowy, midi dress with braided hair. Uh, this one is a bit of a fail. I already feel it because my hair is terrible. And I don't have these cute ribbons, so I'm literally reusing this. Let's go picnic! This is it for this one. Thank you, Allison, for making these flowers for me. I personally don't like midi dress, so this cottagecore look is not so comfortable for me and uh, not my favorite style. The art ho is an aesthetic based around the love for art. The style features a lot of highly saturated colors like yellow and a lot of denim elements. Someone with an Aho aesthetic probably owns at least three pairs of Doc Martens and listens to Rick's Orange County every day. I have my hair up in like a little bun and then I have a little brush going on here. It's, it's, it's a makeup brush because I don't actually own a paintbrush but I just thought it was really artsy. And for the top, I'm wearing this very colorful print and it's actually um, a painting by Henry Matisse which is really fitting because it's an art piece but also in general I think the whole art whole look just has a lot of color and a lot of denim and a lot of like I go to art school vibes also this sweater vest version of it ah! there we go oh wait no now I look kind of like brown or do I look like an art student okay this does make me still look like an art whole look the AirPod Max is definitely a new addition to the art ho look. Picasso. Now we're moving on to our next look. I do think this is a very comfortable look, but again, the style is not so much my taste since I prefer a more neutral palette. Y2K stands for year 2000, which is actually the year that I was born in. The aesthetic features a lot of low-rise skirts and baggy jeans paired with more tight-fitting and eye-catching tops. For the first look of this aesthetic, I wore a zebra print cami, and for my second look, I wore a tight t-shirt with a holographic pattern on it. As I said, the Y2K look is so cool, I love the style, and I think I will get used to how comfortable it is as time goes by. Alrighty guys, I think I just found my favorite aesthetic. This is for sure my favorite so far. I feel so great in this, and I'm just like super energized. So yeah, from a stylistic point of view, I really like the Y2K aesthetic, and I feel like I will become more comfortable in the clothing as time goes by but I felt super confident in it super super confident since I'm in such a good mood right now I would just like to take a few seconds to talk about all the clothing items that I'm wearing so everything is from the brand Saida and if you want to also try out different aesthetics for a very affordable price then you can use my link to get 50% off your entire purchase and now let's get back to the video So the soft girl look embraces pastel palettes along with bright cutesy accessory. Your typical soft girl outfit can include a pink fuzzy sweater and tennis skirts. The overall goal is to give off a cute and gentle aura. This is my soft girl look, or I would like to call it the uwu girl look. Um, this is probably my least favorite so far because of the pigtails. Anyways, yeah, let's move on. As you can see, I am not a big fan of the soft girl look. Popularized by Kendall Jenner and her whole entire squad, the model off-duty look often blends basic items like tank tops and sweatpants with more statement pieces, such as leather jackets. The goal of this look is to create a laid-back, stylish, and camera-ready look. 
Right, so this is my model off-duty look for y'all. Um, yeah, I just came back from the Victoria Secret show and um, please don't take photos of me and my boyfriend. Madeline. Come on. This look is very comfortable, but I'm not too familiar with the style yet, so you know, I wasn't really feeling it that much. So Glam Girl. Glam Girl's nest head is used to give the appearance of wealth and high social status. But unlike the perpy look, the Glam Girl look screams bougie with feminine and luxurious items that are often very glittery as well as very excessive makeup. So this is the glam look or maybe like more like a party girl kind of vibe. So I actually did my makeup really intensely. I even put full sashes on and also put a lot of highlight and I wish the camera can capture my makeup. Anyway, this is the final look last outfit. So as you can probably tell, I am not a huge fan of the glam girl look. I was feeling a little bit self-conscious and uncomfortable with the clothing and the makeup. And this is also the final look, so we're done with the video. My nerdy ass did make a comparison chart of all the styles that I tried and all of my personal rating. Again, this is very, very, very subjective. But as you can tell, the winner is the tomboy and the Y2K look. I don't know if it's because those two looks actually feature pants or because I was blasting music while trying these items on, but by far those two are my favorite and the Korean aesthetic is a close second. So that is it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. But if you want to stay for a little bit longer to hear me run about fashion and style and finding your aesthetic, I do have a few things to say, so there we go. I made this video with the intention of finding my style, or it's also like a little experiment where I can post this on the internet and ask for people's opinion on what style suits me the best so I can wear it more often and look better. But you know, throughout the process of doing it and like throughout the process of looking back on these footage, I already have like a very clear answer in my head and it is not even like, oh, which particular one suits me the best. It's kind of like this fun little realization that in terms of fashion, comfort actually comes first. For certain people, comfort might mean like, you know, sweatpants and hoodies, but for certain people, comfort could be like, you know, a tennis skirt or like a little crop top, a dress, anything that makes them feel confident. So I think it's comfort that comes first and then it comes confident. Because for me, the two pieces that I'm most comfortable in is the tomboy look, but also the Y2K look, but also the Korean aesthetic look. And they are very different in terms of style and like tailoring and like silhouettes and fabrics and overall aesthetics but I feel comfortable in them and thinking back I realized that growing up I actually dressed a lot like a tomboy yes a lot of it is because I grew up with a younger brother and we used to share a lot of clothes but also because I used to be a lot more insecure in terms of how I look but it's not necessarily about like oh body insecurities I'm trying to like hide my curves I'm trying to hide like my body but it's kind of like this fear of attention and I feel like I just wasn't at a space where I could wear something I can I don't know if anyone can actually relate to this, but a lot of the times, like, when a piece does fit me and it looks good, it actually brings more anxiety in me because I feel like, oh, I, there are more eyes on me. And because of that, the clothing can't actually serve its purpose in, like, you know, giving me more confidence. So I was actually looking back on all the footage that I took and I realized that the items that I'm, like, really vibing in are the items that I'm, like, very familiar with for example baggy pants for example the hoodie for example little blazer or like things that i already own for a long time and it is the item such as that tight fitting glittery dress that i am a little bit uncomfortable in despite trying to portray the glam and sassy look so i guess it also takes time maybe in two years time i can you know take that footage again and just like walk out with my heels with full-on confidence but I guess it's all like a work in progress. So my conclusion to this little experiment is that don't 
jump to conclusion too quickly don't categorize yourself to like what suits you the best or what doesn't suit you a lot of the times you know maybe this style isn't the best fit for you but it doesn't mean that you can't explore it it doesn't mean you can't try it it doesn't mean that you know one day it will suit you and just because you have a certain aesthetic doesn't mean that you can't go and explore other options either i've always had this burning urge to try every single aesthetic possible so one day i can find things that i really really like and then eliminate all the rest my closet is actually filled with a lot of trendy items but i always go back to wearing the basic items that I feel most comfortable in, that I feel like is the safest option and I don't know why I've been battling with like basic and safe items to a point where I didn't even include it in like an aesthetic. For example, I always wear this white t-shirt. I have like five different versions of this white t-shirt and if I'm seeing someone new, if I'm trying to film a video, if I'm trying to like, you know, go to class or something, it's my go-to so I don't really see a problem with it. Yes, maybe I did look kind of good in some other items that I explored during this video, but this will forever be my aesthetic and I am okay with that. My closing thought is that fashion is supposed to serve us. Don't become a slave of fashion. Don't let it stress you out. Don't let the pressure of dressing well make you uncomfortable. You should always dress to be comfortable and then confident will follow. Okay, let me repeat that. <laughs> Comfort first and then confidence will follow. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe.